Hi, it's Janie. Welcome back to my channel. And today I have some products that I purchased during the month of July. Um, today is what, August the 4th, I think, when I'm recording this. And if everything goes to plan, hopefully it'll go up tomorrow. We hope. <laughs> but the way things have been going here lately, I don't know. But anyway, I have a whole basket of stuff here that I purchased or that was either given to me or was sent to me for review as, as in PR, if you will. So anyway, without further ado, let's get started. So anyway, um, I'm just gonna start digging in this basket and showing you what I got. First of all, I'll start with this guy. Um, hope that wasn't just loud, I hit my microphone. Um, this is from Makeup Revolution. My daughter gave this to me. Um, she had placed an order on the Makeup Revolution website and I think I think she told me if she she placed, she ordered two eyeshadow palettes and then she got one free. And I think this was the free one that she got. But she um, she knew she wasn't gonna wear these, these bright colors. Here, let me open it up so it's not blinding us. And so she thought that I would, that I would enjoy it. So she gave it to me. And you know what, guys? I've been wearing this nonstop since she gave it to me, which was probably toward the end of June. And this is what I have on my eyes. I have been using a lot of times this color right here in my crease. And then I have been pick, picking a lot of these like shimmer shades then onto the eyelid. And with a little bit of um, glitter glue, they stay like you would not believe. And they are very vibrant and bold and just really pretty. I have just been really surprised about the longevity of them and how well they work and just how pretty they are. So I have been really very impressed. This is my first, um, I wanna say this is my first Makeup Revolution eyeshadow palette that I've ever had. I think I've had some other things by Makeup Revolution. And this is called the Defiant palette and it's the Pro HD. So I don't know with it being the Pro palette, if this is available at Ulta or not, or if you can only get it at the Makeup Revolution website. I don't know. Anyway, she gave that to me, so I thought that was really nice of her to give that to me. Her and I, we swap makeup a lot. We do. She'll get stuff that she doesn't like, that she thinks I like, and vice versa. So it's, it's kind of nice having a daughter that is into makeup and that is willing to do that and it's also nice to have someone that i can give i can pawn stuff off onto that i don't like that i think maybe she would like and then she has a sister-in-law that um likes makeup too so if she doesn't like it then she can pass it on to her and <laughs> it just it's just kind of like a snowball effect so we, um, we do a lot of passing on in this, this family, which is good. I'm glad. I'm glad that we have people that we can pass stuff on so it doesn't get wasted. You know, I hate, I hate to see stuff just, just sitting and not being used. I, I hate that. So anyway, so I am going to, um, I'm going to put this basket down because I want to show you some other stuff. The next things, and I think these are the only things that I have that's going to be in PR, so um, we're just going to get started. So first of all, from Fresh, Fresh sent to me the Fresh Soy Face Cleanser, and it's their 20th anniversary of the Soy Cleanser when it first came out, and it was this is a limited edition packaging. And um, my lights are going to wash it out, isn't it? But anyway, I've been using this of the morning as my morning cleanse. And um, I have very, very much enjoyed using this. And I don't remember ever using this face wash. And I don't know why. I don't know why I've not have been using it. But it just really, it's a really nice face wash. I really have been enjoying it. It just takes a little small amount, like maybe like a pea size amount. And it smells like cucumbers for one thing, which is really nice. 
Um, it's supposed to be for all skin types. Um, it's extra gentle gel cleanser. Um, it's supposed to whisk away everyday impurities and makeup. I don't know about the makeup and mascara part of it because I don't use it to take off makeup. I use it as of the morning as a morning cleanse. I haven't used it at night. Um, it says it's supposed to do it without stripping the skin. I, I can tell you that I do not feel any kind of dryness after using this whatsoever. So I can um, attest to that as far as it not stripping the skin. Um, it also works to tone, soothe, and soften the skin for radiant, healthy looking complexion. I don't use it for a toner. I still do a toner after I use it, but I do feel like my skin does feel softer after I use it. So as far as it um, not stripping the skin, I, I do feel like that is, that is um, true. Matter of fact, um, I was going through, we're getting ready to go on a trip, and I was going through some of my samples that I have that I was thinking about pulling out to take on the trip, and I found a um, travel size of the cleanser, and I'm going to take that on my trip, if that tells you anything, so that I'm willing to take that on a trip, that how much I do enjoy using that, so I really do like that, and the packaging's really cute. I forget who they commissioned to do this <clears throat> this um, graphic work or the artwork on here, but anyway. So I've really been enjoying using that and the cucumber smell is just really, really good. Also from Fresh, I was sent the um, Essence and I did a whole video on this and I will do an iCard up here in the screen on my video, my review on this, but this is the Black Tea Kombucha facial treatment essence. I did receive this and I absolutely love this. I use this morning and night as an essence, an essence step. If you don't know what an essence is, it's just a gateway um, that treatment that you put on before you do it after a toner but before serum and basically it just kind of helps to open your pores and acts as a pathway or a gateway to for your other products that are act to have active ingredients in them to help those penetrate the skin and make those work better. Anyway, um, I really feel like this has helped my skin to become more glowy, more hydrated, and I really enjoy the effect that has um, given me and I really do like this so and this you can get at um, Sephora so anyway there'll be <coughs> excuse me there'll be links for those in the description box for those and um, let me read you a little bit off the box of the kombucha um, it's a silky liquid leave-on formula powered by kombucha fermented sweet black tea that increases moisture and luminosity for a radiant, lustrous complexion. And I highly, highly agree with that. That most definitely does that. Um, it's a highly concentrated age delay treatment that provides daily antioxidant and anti-pollution protection, which help prevent premature signs of skin aging. I cannot attest to that because that would be something that you would have to use long-term in order to see those benefits. Um, it's versatile, weightless essence, also smooth, softens the look of fine lines and refines the appearance of skin, boosting its re uh, resilience and vitality. Um, I just really like it for its increasing of luminosity of the skin, which of course, you know, anytime you have a little bit of luminosity and um, hydration, um, increase in hydration, that's going to really help to plump the skin and, and that in turn is going to help you know the wrinkles look a little better a little less noticeable so I really do recommend this I like it I like it a lot so whew, I'm running out of breath <coughs> and of course as soon as I get to talking I get a tickle in my throat never fails never fails just when I think I'm done with this cough it comes back with a vengeance Okay, the next thing that I have from Fresh that was sent to me, I have 
three things from Fresh. They were very generous in sending me some products as this product here that is new from them. Those other two products have been a lot, been around for a while. This one is new and it's the Fresh Sugar Strawberry Exfoliating Face Wash. This one I've been using at night and I use this one as my second cleanse. So the first cleanse is what I use to a products that I use to take off all the makeup and then I go into the second cleanse and this is what I've been using and that's just to cleanse the skin make sure everything's off and then do an exfoliating type treatment this is very gentle it has very very finely green granules of sugar there's actually two types of sugars that are in here um, let's see Two sizes of sugar crystals that gradually melt onto the skin to refine the texture and pores of a bridal look. Um, it has strawberry extract that helps maintain a healthy tone complexion. I just like it because it's very smooth, it's very hydrating, and it just has a little bit of exfoliation, so it's very gentle. So yes, that you can use it every single day without irritation. And I was going to look because I think, I was going to see if this had honey in it. I've been meaning to look, but I don't have my glasses in the bathroom. Maybe not. I thought maybe it did, but anyway. Um, it's a dual action scrub that cleanses and exfoliates while refining the look of pores to reveal smooth, balanced, brighter looking skin. The sweet formula contains two sizes of sugar crystals that gradually melt as a micro polish along with strawberry extract, grapeseed oil, and gentle cleansing soap berry peel extract. In one step, the cushiony cleanser removes dirt, excess oil, and facial makeup without stripping the skin of moisture for a clean, healthy looking complexion. And um, I know it doesn't do any kind of drying out of the skin, which I like because I'm dry. And let me show you what the texture of it looks like. It looks like this right here. So you can see why I thought maybe it would have honey in it, but because it does have a little bit of a oiliness to it. And like I said, it's just really, really a finely milled um, sugar in there so as you're using it that sugar just automatically starts to melt down as you're using it so it's not very harsh at all very gentle and my husband likes it I've been liking it and it really does do a very gentle exfoliation does leave your skin very polished feeling and I've been enjoying it and it smells really good too so been enjoying that using that and like I said we use I've been using it at night as a second cleanse so let me get this wiped off and then we're going to move on to the next product that was sent to me from Dr. Brandt and this product I do have on as a it's a makeup item Okay, the next product that I'm going to talk about was sent to me from Dr. Brandt, and this is the Luminizer Primer. And so you can see why I would want to apply to um, try this um, luminizing primer. Um, I do like to have a luminosity to my skin. So I am an aging woman with dry skin, so any help I can get to get a glow to my skin, I'm going to hop on it. So, and what really tricked me to, intrigued me with this was also being luminizing, but it was also supposed to help blur the, the pores in addition to being lumini luminizing. So it gives a natural looking backlit glow, revives dull complexions, helps refine the look of pores. So I think it does definitely do all of that. So you guys tell me what you think because I do have this on as my primer today. Um, I did put this on at, let's see, what time was it this morning? 7.30, 7.30 this morning is when I put my makeup on. And now it's about, it's um, 8.10 at night. So I've had this on all day, haven't done any touch-ups to my makeup other than my lip gloss. I 
touching up my lip gloss and that is it. This is what it looks like. And here is what it looks like on the skin. So I have really been pretty impressed with this thus far. And sometimes when you get these type of primers that are supposed to be pore minimizing, that go on the pores, for me, when I go to put my makeup on top of them, um, they kind of peel up a little bit underneath the makeup. This doesn't do that. So I really, I really have been enjoying using that. And there it is on the skin right there. So I did get that from Dr. Brandt, and I have been enjoying using that also. So I have that. Okay. So now I'll move back onto the stuff that I have actually purchased. I'm looking here and make sure. Yes. All righty. So. As we all know, the Nordstrom anniversary sale was going on hot and heavy in the month of July, and I had full intentions of making some purchases, but I ended up not purchasing anything um, during that anniversary sale, makeup-wise or skincare-wise or clothing-wise. So just just wasn't anything that intrigued me so when the Amazon Prime Days came around I've never really paid attention to the Prime Days because I was always so focused on the Nordstrom anniversary sale but this year I kind of looked at the Prime Days and so I did purchase some things from the Prime Days from Amazon Prime Days I didn't ever realize though that I always thought it was just you know those two days are items that were on sale for those two days, you know, from start to finish. But no, they had like little flash sales throughout the days for those two days. That was very stressful to me because <laughs> there were some things that I knew were going to be on sale, but I didn't know when. And that was, that was kind of stressful. So anyway, I did purchase some things from that. Let me get those out. And then also while I was purchasing some those things for Amazon, I had some things in my Amazon wish list or loves or whatever that I went ahead and just decided to order while I was placing an order. So anyway, so what I got during the Amazon Prime Days that was on a discount was first was from Hada Laba, um, and this is a Japanese skincare line. And I got some of the anti-aging facial sheet mask. I did get a box of these. And this is the first time that I've bought sheet mask in a very long time. A very long time. So um, these are four masks. These are normally $15 for a box of these. And they had them on the flash sale for less than $5. But you could only get one box. So I have not tried them yet, but here they are, and there those are. And did you know that you can get the Hada Laba brand at Sally's Beauty Supply? I did not know that until I was seeing someone else's video and they happened to mention it. I was thinking, no way. And happened to go to my Sally's Beauty Supply here in town, which is absolutely crap, and they actually had Hada Laba. <laughs> I was surprised because they usually don't have anything. But anyway, so they also had on flash sale the Hada Laba Skin, Skin Plumping Gel Cream. And I don't remember what the flash sale on this was, but I did get it. And this is a hyaluronic acid cream. And um, I will tell you, I've been using this, and I really wanted this for a day cream, but it does not play well underneath makeup at all. <laughs> so I'm going to have to use this as a night cream because my makeup will just stick to it. It doesn't smooth out good. It just, it just does not work under makeup, but it's a really good hydrating cream. But the trick with this is to make sure that before you put it on that you mist your face with some type of water or a spray. I have an aqua spray that I got in my um, 
what was it, my um, pink soul box that I sprayed and I missed my spray because the hyaluronic acid needs some moisture to bind itself to because if you don't then it's going to pull the moisture that's in your face out and use it and you don't want to do that you don't want to lose your moisture that's already in your face so make sure you mist your face and you can do it with tap water before you put this on so it has something to bind to but yeah so but i was really kind of disappointed that um it didn't work well underneath my makeup it's just a little bit too sticky for that but i did get that during that time frame and then i also got the um the eye cream that was on my wish list and it's the Hadalaba Age Correcting Eye Cream, the Super Hyaluronic Collagen and Caffeine. I haven't used this one though because I've been using another one <laughs> that was on my wish list that I just went ahead and placed the order for. That wasn't on sale or anything but I wanted to get it while I was placing the order but I did get those Hadalaba items during the prime sale but that was all i ordered there just wasn't anything else even on amazon that i was just that ecstatic for other than those products so the other thing that i got was um oh boy where's my glasses oh and i forgot to practice to say the name oh i was gonna practice this before i did the video because it's a hard name <clears throat> to say it's it's japanese it's a Japanese um, Sahuka Sahada. Sahuka Sahada, I think is how it is, but it's the Urea Moisture Eye Cream. First of all, it comes in this really, really cute packaging. Let me put it in its box first so you can see what it looks like. So you get the true effect of it. First of all, it comes in this cute little packaging like this. Isn't that cute? She's so cute. I know. Anyway, so much for the packaging, right? What's more important is this cream. It's a really very good hydrating cream. It's just hydration. That's all it is. It's just hydration. But man, is it a good hydration cream. And I don't, gosh, how much? There's a ton of product in here. There's 30 grams of product in this. So it's gonna last a really, really long time. And this one again um, <clears throat> works best if it has some moisture to bind itself to. So I just make sure that I've spritzed my face again um, before I put this on, but it is such a good hydrating cream for under the eyes. And I really have been enjoying using this. I heard this one, I heard um, Penny from Pen Smith her YouTube channel I heard her talk about this a lot of times but yeah this is a really good hydration cream very good so I did get that that's all I ordered was that all I ordered from Amazon yes that was it so let's see I had a couple things where oh there it is almost done just just a few more things and then I was at um, Ulta because I was out of my sunscreen the Shiseido 42 urban environment oil free UV protection spectrum 42 um, it's normally $48 but they had it on um, clearance for where you got half off so I picked up another one of those looks like this here and you shake it like that and it has a little ball in it um, but I have two more coming that are from one is from the UK and one is from Japan that um, Penny from Pinsmith has recommended that I'm going to be testing out but for now I like that one that'll be my third no my fourth bottle of that that I've am on so and then I, from MAC, have a little bit of MAC. Um, don't think it's from MAC I have is some more powder. In my last haul, I think I had, I had shown this powder, which is the, I gotta put this on, I gotta put this on. 
the mineralized skin finish in warm rose um, i'm pretty sure it's being discontinued because it's on um, special at 40 percent off and i've been using this to set my um, foundation and stuff and have been really liking it and i seen while i was at dealers that they had some more so i bought two more because that's the way it is you always find something to like and it's usually you know discontinued they quit making it you can't find it anymore that type thing so i thought well they had a couple more so i'm gonna get it and that's what it looks like brand new but i really do like it as a setting powder just like the finish of it let me show you this is the one i've been using so i'll just watch it and show you that's what i have on <laughs> that's my setting powder so let's see put it right there i don't know if you're going to be able to see anything probably not hmm. i'll try it again try it again I don't know how I cut my arm. I did that today. I have no idea how I did that. Can you see it right there? Anyway, got two more of those. And they were on sale for $20, $20.40. So, to anything. And then the last thing, the very last thing, is this cute little tub. I found this at, um, at home little shop I don't know if y'all have those or not but it has everything that you would need for your home as far as decoration goes you know been needing a new bin for my empties and I found this it was on clearance for like six dollars so that's going to be my new empties bin and that's what I've been putting all this stuff in that I acquired for the month of July oh wait I have a couple more things that I forgot to show you Two more masks that I found at Ulta. I've been wanting to try these, but I was, you know, holding off, holding off, because, you know, I wasn't buying any masks until I used up all of my sheet mask stash that I had. And then these were on clearance, so I guess they're not going to be carrying these anymore. But it's from the Uzu, and it's the Fresh Capsule Mask. This one is in Royal Jelly, and it has the solution right here. That I guess you're going that you're supposed to press and it goes down in there. And the same way with this one. And this is the power capsule mask. It's from the same brand. I'm looking at these weird because it looks like they've already they've gotten pressed already. Oh no, they haven't. And this one's recovery. Hmm. But anyway, these are thought it said. Are these Japan, Japanese, Korean? I think they're just Korean. I don't know. Yeah, Korean. These are Korean sheet masks. But anyway, I got these on clearance at Ulta. So I don't even know if you would even be able to find them. Royal Honey and the Recovery Mask. But I thought it was kind of interesting that you would um, put the, the stuff in fresh as you're doing it. But now that I'm looking at it, it looks like, it looks like the stuff is already squished down in there. <laughs> it already looks like this down in there. So maybe it's not going to be so fresh after all. Anyway, so that's it for my haul for July. I hope that you have enjoyed with my ramblings. I kind of rambled a little bit this time, but that's all right. Anyway, thank you so much. Um, I'll talk to you soon.